Painting really is an extension of thinking for me. It's like writing. It's full of dark moments, really, a lot of dark moments, but it's really, it plays with that whole history of, of the way we might make an image, why we make an image, what is the image supposed to represent. I like the paint where there's resistance to the brush on the surface. The resistance creates marks that you're not totally in control of. It's sort of like engaging the world because the moment you walk down the road, you know that you've got to navigate. You're not totally in control. The environment has, has some kind of say in the way you move your feet. You want that canvas and the material to somehow contribute to the thing that you're painting. I was very aware that I didn't want to paint nice landscapes and landscapes that were sort of celebratory. The landscape around Brooklyn is uh, quite moody and it's quite rustic in a way. In some ways, not a pleasant environment. It has its difficulties. And the river being a river is constantly changing. It's moving constantly. It's a metaphor. More a metaphor for landscape than a landscape in its own right, sort of for me way I painted anywhere. A painting, you don't have to sit through it. A painting, you can give it a slight glance and just move on to other things. Then you can give it another glance. So it actually has has the opportunity of being static. So it makes no demands on you. You just, you bounce off it. I think the most exciting thing that ever happens with a painting is you get excited by it. Not because you think it's beautiful, but because somehow you start thinking about language. It's always about language.